They call me Rick Ross, Mongo Slay. I'm always eating, huh? Eating them trill burgers with my trill niggas. Sitting down in Texas where Bun B. I should be worried about my basketball career, but I'd rather eat burgers and hang with strippers. 305, they call me Brick Rock, cause every day I'm hustling, I'm eating, I'm hustling, eating, I'm stripping. Alright, that's enough. 305 Brick Ross, coming back at y'all again. Mongo Slay, huh? Anyways, James Harden, Tainted Legacies, another episode. I should call this a mini episode within a series. See, people can rag on Giannis for not able to shoot. Granted, he is a power forward. Power forwards are not always known for shooting. Tim Duncan himself wasn't the best shooter. He's more down in the low post. You know, he did um, manage to create a little mid-range shot at times. But why do... (laughs) But regardless, Giannis has worked on his game every offseason and gotten better. Earlier today, I was actually watching a video on Giannis... And I think it was maybe somewhere in Greece. I think when he was playing in Greece, he was he was a skinny limp noodle. He was a skinny one, as we all know. Skinny, shy, meek, humble. But each year, ever since he was drafted to the NBA by the Bucks, he has gotten better. He's gotten stronger. He's gotten buffer. He continued to work hard at his game. And we all seen the results of it. Now he's the top 75 player. Uh, he almost, he almost came close to breaking Bob Penner's record. Of averaging the most points by a power forward. I think last year he finished the season at 30 points a game, I think. Let me make sure to fact check myself right quick. I must make sure. But he was high out there. I think he was the second or third leading scorer last season. But in this offseason, he's continuing to keep working and working and working. Cut his hair off. But continuing to keep on working and working and working. He averaged 31 points a game last season. 11 rebounds and 5.7 assists off 55.3 field goal shooting. Yeah, they may have lost a terrible series against the Miami Heat. But you can't take away Giannis's hard work and dedication to the game. We can sit here and talk about, oh, he's not from the United States. His accent, he's corny with his jokes, all kinds of stuff. He can't shoot and all this stuff. His bucks lost to the Heat in five games to the AC. Whatever. It's all part of the game. You're going to win some and you're going to lose some. At least he goes out there and tries. That's all what fans wanted. We're not mad. Well, I'm not mad so much anymore. It is what it is at this point. At the time, I was completely pissed that they lost to the Miami Heat. And I thought they could have actually won that series. But it is what it is. We're not going to fault them for losing. At least they tried. But James Harden, on the other hand. James Harden, on the other hand, continues, continues to do what we call him off for. You're the reason why your career is where it's at. You're the reason why you're probably not much of an inspiration to anybody, really. You're the reason why the 76ers, a little bit of Harden, I mean not Harden, but Embiid as well. 76ers got bounced out in the past few seasons in the semifinals. You're, once again, I'm going to say this once again, you are not that guy. You're not the guy. You're not the guy for this. I just don't think he deserves a top 75. I'm sorry. I don't care how many points he put up, how many step back threes and points he jump up. That don't mean nothing. Like Kobe said, he said James Harden game wouldn't translate to anything. And 
He's right. He was right. He hasn't. His work ethic, his work ethic is crappy. He's been in the whole off season. I get it. It's off season. Yeah, sure. It's off season. Everybody deserves to, you know. But I'm also seeing a lot of people. It may be off season. It can be with the families doing whatever, hanging out, uh, enjoying their off time. Sure. But they putting in the work still. Giannis has been putting in the work. I seen other players, basketball players, putting in the work. Shoot, I ain't seen LeBron James still putting in the work in the offseason. Despite me not liking him. But James Harden? Nah. We seen him eat. Eat chicken wings. Eat burgers. Hang out with strippers. Hang out with rappers. He got no focus. He has no desire. James Harden one of the people that want every, to do everything for him. People to do for him. So he keep jumping the super team to super team, sort of like his old teammate. And when the tough gets tough, oh, time to bounce. Ah, uh, get me back to Houston. No, 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 no. Email dog gonna want your ass in Houston. No, no, no. You got no work ethic. You don't work on your defense at all. That's another part of this game that fails. He has no defense at all. Giannis, <laughs> at least he tries on both sides of the ball. James Harden don't even try on one side of the ball. He don't play no damn defense whatsoever. He made Doka like, nope, he ain't got my team to play defense. He's not committed to playing defense. Also, he probably don't want him down there. He's going to take all the strippers away from him. All the freaking, the women out there away from him. Who really wants James Harden at this point in their career? In his career, I should say. What team really wants him after seeing all this and seeing how he goes? And how he does and how he moves. What team wants him? He going to Miami. He gonna have to play. And I'm sure Jimmy Butter don't want to feel feel the uh I'm stuttering over my words. I I I don't think James Jimmy Butler wants to deal with that. Go to the Clippers. The Clippers got enough guards as it is already. They don't need him. Clippers just need to stay healthy. Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. Oh, 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 I'm going to go to Phoenix. I'm going to go to Phoenix. Wow. Stick him in Phoenix and be just even worse. You stick him with another. I wouldn't say he's overrated, but he, he's reaching those levels. Devin Booker, Bradley Bill, and Kevin Durant. Yeah, stick him in Houston, all right. I mean, Phoenix down here. Sure, that really worked. Nobody wants this guy. I'm hearing some Bucks fans say, uh, send him to Milwaukee. I don't want that. I don't want that lame old in Milwaukee. I'm sure Giannis don't want him in Milwaukee either. No. James Harden's career is finished at this point. I just had to say it. I had to be real with y'all. His career is done at this point. I'm sure he can do a lot of stuff in the regular season, but when it comes playoff time. See you. Yeah, it ain't happening. Has it happened? No. He's a bum. No work ethic happening. Comungeon. A bum. A fat ass bum. Pause. You don't desire to be great. I think he desires to be great in his being Ace of Diamonds greatest. Tipper. <laughs> Magic City's greatest <laughs> patriot. That's the only thing James Harden desires. He wouldn't be on the wall of the greatest patriot to ever walk across the doors of Magic City. And all the strip clubs in Houston. Miami and Atlanta. He didn't want to be no greatest guard. <sighs> Top 10. Shoot guard of all time. Motherfucker need to be in the top 20, maybe. I don't know about top 10, because people who belong in the top 10 actually love the game. And you think this guy is on the level of shooting guards of Jordan, Kobe, Jerry West, even Dwayne Wade? He ain't even on the level of AI. Yeah, you can say what you want about AI. 
But you know what? AI gave it his all when he got on that court. James Harden don't do that. But anyways, I'm done with this bum for now. I might have more, but another episode of Tainted Legacies. James Harden. <laughs>